Matthew Hill here with Carol Ponton on the Hill and Ponton video blog and today we'd like to talk to you about mental health CMP exams and specifically doctors using what we consider tricky or tricked up tests to get veterans to to be found as malingering. But, as someone you can't, can't that are trust, liars, right. you can't trust them. And it's a really um, troubling thing that we're seeing. Not all of the doctors, but a number of the doctors who are doing exams for uh, PTSD, traumatic brain injury, military sexual trauma, they will tell the veterans, now I'm going to show you, it's, it's a simple test, and it may go like this, I'm going to show you a set of pictures, and I want you to identify them. And they're cars, cats, trucks, I mean, anybody, a two-year-old could identify them. But then they say, it's a caveat, just before the veteran gets ready to answer, he said, but I want to let you know that people who have whatever disease you might have, whether it's PTSD or traumatic brain injury, they're going to say these people may have real difficulty identifying these things. Mm. So in other words, they're trying to get you to lie. They're trying to get you to say you don't know the answer when you do, and then they will write it up as someone who cannot be believed is just there to get the money. Don't let them trick you into this. I'm telling all of my veterans about this, telling them do the best job you can, and particularly if somebody prefaces the test right. with something like this, realize this is a trick. And they feel like it's their duty or their that they are able to do this. I think it's awful, but it's being done. So you need to be careful, not by everybody, but enough of them that we're seeing this a lot. It's, it's important to recognize that these, claim, these CMP doctors are not there to treat you. They're not no. your doctor. In fact, if there's anybody's doctors, they're the VA doctor exactly. because the VA is paying them to determine if you deserve benefits. And so when they come in there and they're all friendly and they're all kind, maybe every once in a while there is one that way, but, but usually you got to think, hey, I'm here to talk about what's going on with me and why this related to service and how severe it is. And you need to stick with what you came with, meaning if, if you're having depressive thoughts, you need to talk about that. If you can't be around anybody, you need to talk about that. If you, if you just get really angry all of a sudden, you know, talk about that. But if he wants to show you pictures of cars, or penguins or whatever, you do that. You go along and you name those as long as you get a chance to say, but here are my symptoms. Right, and I think I think the saddest thing is veterans, when they go to see a CMP doctor, they feel like they have to dress up for them, maybe bathe and shave for the first time in two weeks. Mm -hmm. This isn't what you should do. You should give them a picture of what you're like every day. What right. do your loved ones have to put up with? What do you feel deal with every day? This is what you only see this person once. They need to get a true picture of what's going on with you. So remember that when you go in. Well, thanks for listening to us today, and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.